Welcome back to our ongoing series where we're building a web application in Flutterflow. And in this episode, which is number eight, we're going to focus on our theme selection options down in the bottom left hand corner of our application. We're going to want our users to choose the theme of their application. We want to persist it. So when they come back again, we choose the right theme to then use with inside our application. We're also going to look at app state as well, touch a little bit on page state, and we're going to create some more animations with inside this particular episode as well. So plenty to get through once more. Let's get into the video and let's get cracking. Okay, so here's the running application again as a reminder. Now we're gonna focus on these indicators that are just down here. Now we want to now provide an option within our application to now choose whether we want to be in the light mode or the dark mode version of our application. So just by triggering the little moon here, then nicely it then converts into this kind of dark mode uh, sort of theme. So that's much more pleasing on my eye because I'm pretty sure during the recording here, I've been blinded by my own application when I go from the light mode to so then the dark mode, you can probably see that on camera. So I'm really quite happy to kind of work a little bit in this dark mode here. But um, we're now going to work on this area because you can see here that we can toggle between the two here. You can just see at the bottom there, we've got a little animation that's playing out as well. So you can take some of the learnings that you had in the previous uh, episode where we were focusing on animations. We can now apply them here as well. And we're also going to touch on some actions here as well to set the value that's going to then track throughout our whole application on that. So about Further ado, let's move into that now and let's start firstly talking about state with inside Flutterflow. So in this particular video, we are going to look at app state and app state is very different to component state. The difference in our previous episode where we were storing values against a particular component, that's one type of state management that you have with inside Flutterflow. There's also app state, which means that any values we put in there can be accessible from the whole of your application. So you can still access that information from components as well as pages. And that is all stored with inside the app state. You then have a third option. You have then page state where you can, Again, very much like components, create a page state variable. You can put some information in there and you can access that from within inside the page. Now, of course, it's only going to be temporary because when that page then gets changed to then another page inside your application, then you'll lose access to that page state variable. So in this particular episode, we're going to be using app state because we want to track whether our theme is in a light mode or a dark mode. And we want that to be accessible throughout the whole of our application. So let's now move on and let's start creating our app state variable to track the status of our theme. Okay, so let's head over to the app value section here on the left hand side, just choose app values. Now we've been here before because we was here for constants, but we're going to remain inside the app state section just here. Move up here to the where it says add app state variable, just select that. And of course, now we want to give this a field name. So just like we did with component state, we're doing it right here. So I'm going to call this one is dark mode, just like that. So is dark mode, this is going to be a Boolean data type. So if it is true, then we know we are dark mode. If it is false, we know that we're in light mode. So so we're going to check on that condition very, very shortly when we set all of that up. So let's choose the data type here as a Boolean. And then we have some options available to us here. Now, in this particular app state variable, this is just a single value. OK, so it's not going to be a list of values. It's just going to be one. So we can keep this turned off. But this is quite an important one for us because we want to persist this value. So when our users come back to our application again, it's going to pick up that value that, that is currently then set. So if the user has set this to be true, then it will be returned back to the user and it will be true right off the bat when our application runs. So let's choose that to be persisted. Now, if this is in the browser, this will be stored in the local storage of the web browser. And if this was in a mobile device of, of an application, then it will be stored in whatever the local storage mechanism is there for the mobile application. So we're just going to keep this here persisted, just hit create, and um, we are then good to go. Now, one other little point here, we can come back here, we can actually edit this if you want to, or we can actually then delete these. And when we edit, we can actually rename this. And if you rename this, then it will be retrospectively applied across your application where it is being used, which is really, really great. Um, and also as well, we can delete it here. And of course, once you delete it, then any references that you have to this application state variable will then probably throw up errors. You're going to have to go into each of those sections and then you're going to have to then sort out the and correct the problem by deleting it. So one other option here as well, we've got this default value. If we wanted this to be true 
by default, then it will be true. But we're going to keep this as false now because our application is going to start in light mode and then we're going to give the user the option then to choose that then to, to dark mode. So that's pretty well much it for now. There is other options available here like secure persisted fields. We'll come back and cover that in a future episode. But for now, we are good to go. Okay, so let's give our sunshine and moon icons some interactivity. So let's firstly select the light mode icon. Move over to the right hand side here. Make sure that you've got the actions tab enabled and click on the open action flow editor there. So now we're into a very familiar place that we saw in the last particular episode. Now we've got different events that we can hook onto here. We've got the on tap, which is a simple click or a simple tap or a double tap. That's obviously quite obvious what that sounds. And then long press, we want to hold down. And then of course, we then got an event we can hook onto there as well. So we're going to use simply the on tap here, which represents a click of the mouse. We are going to choose the add action option here. Now on the right hand side here, if we just type in a dark there, there is an option where it allows us to set the dark mode setting. So just choose a set dark mode setting. And on the right hand side, you've got some further options available to you. Let me explain what they are. So this one here is allow us to either um, select it um, specifically so we can say right we're now going to set that now to light mode or we're now going to set this to dark mode or we can select it from a, a variable but what we're going to do here is we're going to select it specifically so choose the select setting here and then from here we've got a number of different options available we've got this from system light mode or dark mode so if the user is running this on their like mobile device for example and their device is currently running in a dark mode so they've got that dark mode theme applied to their system then your application can inherit from that particular setting from their device and then your application can then respond to that and then show the specific theme. We're not going to do that in this particular application. We're going to say, right, you've selected this option here. So just run this in light mode or dark mode. So choose the light mode because we're selecting the sunshine here. So we're going to enforce the light mode setting here. And then of course, what we now need to do though, is we now need to set that application state variable to be false because we've specifically said right well it is dark mode is going to be false because we're not running dark mode we are in light mode so with that selected just type in the word state here and you'll see now that we've got this update app state uh, action that's available to us just select that and then of course once we've got that we can then set the value of that particular field so just choose the set fields option here say is dark mode and of course we are going to say this is going to be specifically to say set value to be false and then that's it that's all that we need to do. Now, what I can also do now is I can copy this. So copy the action chain. I can close that. I can go back to our, to our moon now, and we just need to do the reverse. So move up to the actions, go to the action flow editor here. Let's paste the actions in. And of course, I'm going to say set dark mode, and we are now going to set that now to the dark mode. And then here, update the app state. And we're going to say is dark mode is now going to be true that's all that we need to do just hit the close there and funny enough we can now actually test this and we're inside test mode so i'm going to fire that up in test mode let's have a look and see how that responds okay so test mode is loaded let's hit the little moon option here and there we are we are in our dark mode and of course i just test for good measure here hit the sunshine and we're back to that mode as well so this is looking great for us now clearly our animations aren't playing out we've got to work on all of that in just a moment now, there's one other point to note here as well is that what we're doing is we're currently setting the dark mode and light mode at this specific time in the application but of course when we now sort of close this application down and we go back in we haven't put any functionality in our application to actually have a check to see what that uh, application state variable value is set at to then set the mode at runtime right as soon as your application runs. So we now need to go and do that as well. So let's go and move back over to Flutterflow and let's make that change. Okay, so on the home page then, which is the entry point of our application, we need to find the most earliest point possible for us to set the theme of our application. And we can do that because we've got the home page at the very, very top of our widget tree hierarchy. So just choose home page there, move over to the actions tab here, open up the action flow editor, and then we're into this familiar location. Now at the top there, you can see that we've got this on page load event. This is the event that we're interested in. As soon as this page is loaded, it's the most earliest point possible. So we now need to do some work inside here. Now, what we've got is we've got this app state variable, which is saying is a dark mode. If it's true, we need to go in one particular direction. If it is false, we need to go into another particular direction because in our application, we've got these little animations that appear at the bottom 
bottom underneath each of those kind of little uh, sort of sunshine and the moon icon. So we want to play those out as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a conditional action in here. We're going to move up to the conditions option, just as we did in the previous episode where we were using a single condition. We're just going to choose that. We're going to go to the first value here. We're going to choose where it says unset. We're going to move to this, this new section here called app state. And because we have one application state variable, it's there. It's called is dark mode. So we're going to say, is this equal true? Uh, is this equal to? And then we just go into then set this to be true here. So that's just going to say, is the dark mode set to true? If it is, it's going to move in this particular direction. If it's false, it's going to move in this particular direction. So of course, if it's true, then we need to set the dark mode. If it's false, we need to set the light mode. So just hit the confirm there. We now in this particular area here, we're going to do something that we, we did was very similar before. Just add the action in. Let's go and type in dark here. Say the set the dark mode setting. We are going to say select setting there, which is fine for us here. We're going to say dark mode setting here. We're just going to enforce the dark mode here. And then we're just going to copy this copy this action here. Let's just paste here. Just select that plus there and press the paste action and just just to swap this now around to the light mode. And then, of course, that then sets us quite nicely up to then check to whether and that that dark mode setting is true. And then we know which particular direction we're going in. Now, very, very shortly, we're going to come back and enhance this particular action flow here to include our widget animations. So that's good. Let's just hit the little close option here. Now, if I were to fire this application up, we probably won't really see much notice or much, much difference here. You just have to consider the fact that if we were actually uh, loading this up from cold here, then it's going to remember that that dark mode setting is going to be set as true. And then we'll see then the dark mode get applied. So take my word for it. That would work. Um, and you'll probably see that play out, of course, as you then test and come back to it with brand new sessions. OK, so let's start now animating our little indicator under the sunshine and the moon. So with the uh, light mode indicator container selected, you can just see it here on the left hand side in the widget tree. Move over to the animations here and we want to do a on trigger animation here because we're going to trigger this particular one from an action. Hit the add animation. And the first one we're going to do is a fade because it's going to kind of go from a zero opacity through to one. So it's going to be then fully visible. So choose the fade option. Now we're going to want to apply the same duration and, and, and delay because we're going to add another uh, animation in here in a second. We're going to move the duration down to 300. We want it to be fairly quick, but not too fast. And we just so we can just visually see it um, just sort of subtly come in from the bottom there. We're going to keep all of this the same zero to start off with. And then one is the final. We're going to add another animation. Just choose add animation. So this one is going to be then a slide animation. Just choose that. Let me move that down here. OK, so this is going to be a vertical slide. We're not going to be going horizontally. We're going to be vertically here. So our initial position is going to be 10 pixels below where the final position is, where it is at the moment. So if I just put 10 in there, if I just move up here. If I just preview that, you'll just see it now sliding in there from the bottom. So the great thing about this is that we can then copy the set of animations here. So copy all animations. We can move over to the uh, the actual sort of dark mode uh, indicator there. So I've got that selected here. You can either do it there or actually in the widget tree. Move back over to animations and then paste all animations with inside the on trigger action. Just choose that and it's going to have exactly the same effect. I just need to toggle that apply same duration on there and it said it's 300, which is great. If I just preview that now and you'll see that also coming up from the bottom. So now that those animations are in place, we now need to trigger them. So let's go and do that now. OK, so let's do the light mode icon first. So just choose the light mode icon there. Move over to the actions. We've done obviously this previously. So now we need to add on some additional actions. So just choose the plus here. Choose add action. And here we need to look then for the animation. Just going to type anim there. And we've got widget animation. Select that. Now, because we've selected the light mode, we now want to reverse the animation that is being applied to the uh, the dark mode indicator. I want to kind of remove it from the view. So choose the which animation. We're going to choose the dark mode indicator and we're going to reverse it because we're going to assume that if it's in display, we're going to want it to disappear. Once we've reversed it, we can then just copy this particular action here, go here 
and paste it and you guessed it we now need to then play out the light mode indicator and we're just going to then start the animation that's all that we need to do now we can just simply just i'm going to copy the action chain just here and i'm going to close that i'm going to go then to the so dark mode icon hit the open on the action flow editor let's go here and let's just paste those actions in and of course we can now do the reverse of what we were doing previously so with the witch animation the one that we now need to because we're on the dark mode one we need to now then reverse the light mode indicator like that which is great and then here of course we then need to then set the uh the dark mode indicator here which is then going to start that particular animation so that is all good we can just close that down now let's now fire this up in test mode and let's hopefully see these animations come to life okay so here we go on the instant reload let's have a look and see what we see so there we go so we've got the dark mode theme in operation let's hit the little light mode and then we can see the indicator gets displayed if i hit the moon you can see now that that one also gets displayed as well and of course i can just interchange between the two and then that animation plays out so what you'll also notice is that when i first loaded this you'll see that there was no indicator on display on the very first load we need to correct that within our application we want to set the right animation against the right indicator depending on what theme is currently set so let's move back over to application let's let's just do that simple correction now so on the left hand side let's move up to our home page let's go back to those particular actions open up the action flow editor and here we are now in this particular area so we need to apply these animations um, after we actually set the dark mode setting so we know that if we go in this particular direction as you recall this is when we are in dark mode so we want to reverse the animation for the light mode indicator and we want to start the animation for the dark mode indicator so hit the little plus here let's start with the reversal first hit the add action type in and anim there like that go to widget animation and of course we're going to choose the widget and we're going to choose the light mode indicator and we're going to first reverse that particular animation and then here we just need to do the little plus hit add action just do anim again choose widget animation and then choose the widget choose the dark mode indicator and we're going to want to start that animation so what i can then do now is then copy this action chain here go up here let's paste the action chain in there and of course we now need to do the reverse here like we did previously choose that one there choose the dark mode indicator to reverse and then we go down here and of course we are going to switch this over to the light mode like that that's all that we need to do so if i now close that now go back to the test mode let's do that instant reload okay so we should see this now reload and we should see our indicator come in at the bottom there there it is a bit of a stuttering animation but that's just purely because it's reloading obviously at that particular time if i select this now back to the moon let's just do another instant reload just to make sure that the correct one is now indicated there underneath the moon there it is it's coming perfectly for us so there we go so we've got now our theme selector in place for our and our application so things are coming on really really nice we certainly are doing quite a lot of work down the left hand side of our application very very shortly we're going to start focusing then on that center bit the actual sticky notes themselves so we're not too far away from doing that so I'll see you in the next episode. Please do, of course, like this particular video. And of course, if you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe to the channel as well. So until the next episode, I'll see you soon.